What up, you two? So this is going to be part six of the Acura Integra DC2 K20 bar video. And uh, today we finally got our mounts in, which is the half sports. I did order Innovative like three, four times. Uh, they all uh, got canceled, basically. I mean, and um, about time I was going to get the order in. They said it was going to be until like the 20th of this month. So that's just way too long. I want to start getting on this project and finishing everything up. So uh, these are the EG K2s. Um, and uh, basically they have dual height adjustment on these. So um, today we're going to be able to drop this motor in, you know, clean everything up. Everything I'm not going to use and everything. So probably take the exhaust manifold, the T-bracket, and just uh, anything that's not going to be used, this mount over here. And uh, yeah, just get it all cleaned up and get everything prepped so we can start finishing this car up. So um, right now, what we're gonna do is get this bracket drilled out for this side and then start putting the motor mount on the rear. And then we'll jack this car up, slide it in, get it uh, installed. And then I guess we'll go from there to see what we'll do. Maybe do like the clutch line or um just see what comes next so i'm gonna go ahead and start uh installing these mounts real fast so we can drop the motor in and then we'll come back show you how it looks all right so now that we are back i can show you what we've done so far so uh basically drilled out the top of here so i can fit the bolts through the bottom um they actually bolt in through the stock factory and then you just use a um a washer and a nut that goes at the bottom to secure it and then i got the rear mount on with the allen keys and washers and then i also took off all the mounts that was in the front the bracket was right there um, but before i can actually drop this motor in i'm going to have to put the clutch and flywheel on first so i'm gonna have to take off all these 17s around here around the transmission pop this transmission off um and then put the new clutch and flywheel on and then we can get back to dropping the motor in so i'm gonna knock that out real fast and then after that's installed we'll go ahead and put the motor in and uh it should look a lot better once the motor's in and then we can clean it all up after the fact and do some details and start working on anything that needs to be done as far as clutch line um just a lot of stuff that just needs to be done so we're gonna go ahead and knock this out real fast and then we'll come back and uh start with the install all right so i just wanted to show you guys that i got the new flywheel and clutch on here um also when you are installing these uh i like to use red loctite on the flywheel and then blue loctite on these these are 10 sided tins and I believe the flywheel is a 12 sided 17. Um, so other than that, the transmission is ready to drop back on. Got the new bearing on there. Um, yeah, so just wanna let you guys know that. Also, you wanna do a star pattern. So a star pattern would be from like one here to this bolt, this bolt to here, and you know, just like a star, just so that this, uh, plate is pressurized um, correctly and it doesn't you know have any tabs that are bent down you can actually mess up the clutch like that so same as the flywheel you want to do a star pattern um, just to make sure everything is good so uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this clutch on and then we'll clean this motor up and drop it in all right so we are back now I got the motor finally installed the k 282 so the Integra is officially K series now um, Got the clutch all in there, fresh, brand new. And uh, let me show you guys uh, the settings I put the mounts on. So they're on the top setting. Uh, this is to have the most oil pan clearance. And if some people are K24 and wanna have more hood clearance, I guess you can drop it to the lower one right here. I'll show you right here as well. So yeah, so if you guys ever have this mount kit you can also uh hasport make this mount so you can actually flip it upside down so this is actually the flip mount 
Um, if you end up using the bottom ones, you just flip this over and that'll give you more clearance as well. Um, let me show you the oil pan clearance because I know some people are wondering. It's actually not that bad. Uh, it's a good maybe five inches or four inches. So that's plenty of clearance for a K-Swap car, um, especially lowered. Um, as far as that, I believe that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, oh, I also wanted to tell you, I did, these Allen bolts were actually for this mount and not for the rear, so I swapped those out as well. And so the next video, we got basically, we're gonna do the clutch master cylinder, put the ground kit on here. Uh, slave cylinder, uh, mount up the radiator. I gotta put the EP3 pulley kit on here. And then the belt I'll be using is off of the Civic SI 06 to 11. Or EP3 would actually work as well too. So 02 to 11 SI pulley is what I'll be using for that. I'm gonna be using the stock radiator from the RSX. It bolts in here perfect. Uh, and then we'll be uh, tucking this wiring uh putting that through here and then we got the tsx headers coming in as well so i'll install those um and then get to the wiring and everything everything we need to do is finish to finish the swap um probably be in the next two videos because the wiring uh takes a while i gotta run the fuel and evap line as well so i gotta run that box in the back and then uh, I'm waiting for the Kate Tune immobilizer delete since this car didn't come with a key, so I can't wire it up with a stock immobilizer. Um, but other than that, uh, hopefully in the next two videos we can get this thing to start. And then JFab's gonna come finish up the exhaust, do the Cadillac converter from the RSX to the TSX manifold, and then we're gonna run the Integra B pipe uh to a stock exhaust and that'll be it with that we're gonna run stock intake uh so i mean realistically everything's gonna be stock on here to pass the bar and um if you guys have any questions you can always hit me up um you can hit me on instagram at kseriesworks or you can email me at honda.mike1988 at gmail.com so stay tuned guys got a lot more content just waiting for parts since the coronavirus is killing the shipping right now so um hopefully in the next couple days i can have the video these next couple of videos up also the mr2 i'm just waiting for a couple things on that so stay tuned and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time